In today's video, I'll be showing you how to elevate a basic shirt dress by recreating this look using a couple men's dress shirts. I pretty much already had all the supplies I needed for this. Well, except for one other dress shirt. So I had to do a little digging. I'll be doing my dress in a reverse colorway using two white shirts and black lace. When choosing shirts for this project, look for two in the same color without chest pockets and with the button plackets on the same side. The sizes you need may vary. For instance, one of my shirt was larger than the other, so I used the smaller one for the top half of my dress and the larger one for the bottom half. I found this to be helpful because I didn't have to do a whole lot of adjustments later on. So in other words, get one that's fitted on top and another that's roomy enough to accommodate your hips. I hope that helps, now let's get started. Starting with the bottom half shirt, all you need to do is draw a line from one armhole to the other and cut. Next, try on the other shirt for the top half of your dress to locate and mark your waist. You could go a couple inches lower to utilize more of your shirt. My shirt was on the small side anyway, so I couldn't go any lower. From there, draw a line just above your marker and cut. Now we're going to join the two halves. To do that, we first need to open up the side seams. You'll see why later. Once you've done that, locate and mark the center back on both halves. Then with the right sides facing, match up the center points together and pin. Do the same for the front pieces as well, starting from the button plackets. Now go ahead and finish the seams by sewing them in place. Next we're going to clean up the side seams. I used my hip curve to assist with that so both sides were somewhat symmetrical. Before moving the excess, try on the dress and make any necessary adjustments. While you have your dress on, locate and mark your underbust as you need it for the next step. We aren't going to finish the side seams just yet until we've added our lace trim for the final touch. To do that, lay the lace over your dress with one side folded under the button placket and the top edge aligned with your underbust line. Pin the side along the button placket to hold the lace in place, then lay it out and cut following the side seam. Do the same for the other side, but this time position the side of the lace along the button placket in such a way where when the dress is buttoned, the trim will appear to be one continuous piece. Before attaching the lace, give the pieces a quick press and apply a little spray starch. This will add a little structure to the pieces so they're easier to work with. Let the starch soak in for a few seconds, then use a press cloth over the lace when ironing. Afterwards, Go ahead and secure your lace back in place, adding a few extra pins along the edges and across the center. Now let's attach our lace. I decided to follow the scalloped edge using a straight stitch, but you can also use a zigzag if you prefer. For a seamless look, I'm using black thread on the top spool to match my lace and white bobbin thread to match the color of my dress. Once I got to the side with the button plackets, I switched to a zigzag stitch to finish the edge of the lace folded under the dress. After attaching the lace, trim the raw edge roughly a quarter inch away from the zigzag stitch to remove any excess. To get to the hidden buttons, snip a couple strands of the lace. As for the buttonholes, from the wrong side of the dress, snip the lace to uncover them. For the final step, finish the side seams by first removing any excess lace hanging over the edge. You'll likely need to taper the seam at the beginning to blend it with the existing seam. 
The only other thing is redoing a small section of the dress hem and that is it. Thanks for watching. If you love this video, check out the next one on the screen. And I'll be seeing you next time.